Hi everybody, welcome to our live class here with Adam, Amanda, Mama T and Eva in the house. So obviously unconventional times and we're trying something new here. So we're going to take you through this class. Now more than ever, we have to take care of ourselves from the inside and out. So here we are. I think we're a couple seconds early yet. So we'll just take a few moments. So you see our setup here. If you're not familiar with the studio, hopefully we'll see you soon. I'm going to be right about here. And um, looking forward to having you practice with us. It's a 90 minute class. It's generally in a nice heated environment. And so that's what these lovely and lucky folks get to have today. Hopefully you could feel that at your house. Anything you guys want to add apart from your shoulder shaking? Mama's in on that too. Nothing? All right, let's get started. It's our heel class. 90 minutes, 26 postures, two breathing exercises, and let's get started. Toes, heels right together. We start with pranayama breathing. It's a deep breathing. It's good for your lungs and your respiratory system. You breathe in by the nose, exhale by the mouth. Inhale and exhale is always through the throat. Breathe in as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Toes, heels right together, skin on skin. Interlock your 10 fingers, knuckles glued to the chin. Keep the knuckles glued to the chin the entire breathing exercise. Focus on yourself from the front of your shoulders, down away from the ears. Take a moment, concentrate, meditate, and start, please. Inhale, breathing, stomach in, lift your elbows all the way up towards the ceiling, elbows up, 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 full lungs. Exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open. Look for the wall behind you, keep exhaling, elbows touch at the end. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Your stomach in compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles, hold it in. Exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open. Look for the wall behind you, keep exhaling, elbows touch at the end. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Every time trying to fill up the lungs more, lift the elbows up more, take it one more breath. Exhale, push your head back, loud. Exhale, use your throat. Exhale more, look back more. Inhale, head down, one, two, nice and slow. Three, four, look forward, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head back, one, two, spine straight, three, four, hips forward, five, six, elbows touch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Suck your stomach in, stomach, 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 suck it in, hold it in tight, tight. Exhale, push your head back. Keep the knuckles to the chin, eyes open, mouth wide open, look for the wall, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, full arms. Exhale, head back, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Suck your stomach in, stretch everything up. Lift everything up, hold it in. Exhale, push your head back. Exhale now, don't be shy. Use the throat to exhale everything up. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, two more. Every time trying to fill up the lungs even more, filling up the lungs to the maximum expansion, hold it in. Exhale, push your head back on the exhale, depleting the lungs. Exhale more, keep exhaling, look back more, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, slowly bring your head down. Synchronize the arms and the head, not one before the other. Look forward, elbows up more. Exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open. Keep exhaling, look back more, elbows touch at the end. And that's enough, arms down by your side. Toes, heels together, we do almost everything twice. We're gonna do that once again. And like I said before, now more than ever, we really have to take care of our body. But more than that, even really using the lungs. So here, as much as possible, expanding the lung capacity, expanding the rib cage, really filling it up, making it nice, strong, and healthy. Second set, toes, heels right together. Interlock your 10 fingers, knuckles to the chin. In the second set, really focus on the rib cage, trying to expand it as much as possible. Second Second set, start, please. Inhale, breathing, lift your elbows up towards the ceiling. Filling up the lungs more, lift the elbows, rib cage, expanding, full lungs. Exhale, push your head back. Nice and loud, eyes open, mouth open. Exhale, everything 
out. Try to show your six pack elbow stretch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Only arms and head move. Lift the elbows up, take it one more. Big breath. Exhale, push your head back. Nice work, everyone. Mama, doing great. Exhale, more. Look back, more elbow stretch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Pranayama breathing is so good for the lungs. You really want to work the lung capacity now. Fill up the lungs. Exhale, push your head down. Eyes open, mouth open. This is helping prepare you for 90 minutes. Helping slow down your day. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. 90 minutes for you. Starting with the breathing exercise to get you settled on you. Focus on you. Exhale, push your head back. Stay focused on you. Look for the wall behind you. Keep exhaling. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Full arms. Exhale, head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Full arms. Exhale, head back one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down. Suck your stomach in, fill up the lungs more. Take in one more breath, hold it. Exhale, push your head back nice and loud on the exhale. Look back more, shoulders down, elbows up, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, coming near the end. Hopefully you're feeling the body open up. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit sweating already. Fill up the lungs more. Exhale, push your head back. Really preparing the body. Slowing down the line. Keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Last three. Make the last three bigger, stronger, more powerful than the last breaths you've taken. Take in one more breath. Exhale, push your head back. Nothing moves but the arms and the head. Everything else tight, contracted, aware, lifted, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, slowly bring your head down. Last two, why not? Go crazy in the last two. Fill up the lungs more, lift the elbows up more and more. Exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open. Stretch your elbows forward, elbows touch. Last one, you're on your own. Slowly bring your head down. Try to hear what's happening. Feel the lungs. Exhale, head back. Elbow stretch. Awesome work. Just like that, pranayama breathing, deep breathing exercise over. Next posture, half moon pose with hands to feet moved. Excellent posture to warm up the spine, get it nice and loose, moving it in all four directions. So toes, heels, wrap together, please, and arms over the head. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs cross, keep a nice tight grip. Hands, palms, loop together up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. As you can see, you can take, if you've never done this before, you can sit on a chair, no problem at all. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling and move your body right and left several times. Right and left and right and left and right and left. You should feel stretching on both sides of the body all the way up towards the fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Stop in the middle. Your elbows are locked, arms always touching with the ears. There's no gap between your biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward towards the mirror. Upper body leaning back, weight in the heels. Keep your chin up and focus forward. Stretch your arms up one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Feel a tremendous stretch on the left side of the body from the fingertips to the toes. Hips forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward if you've got a mirror. Make sure your two hips in one line. Right shoulder forward, opening up the chest like a flower petal blooming. You don't have a mirror, try to feel it. Feel a tremendous stretch from the fingertips to the toes, hips forward. Upper body back, more weight in the heels. Keep your chin up, arms back, breathing normal. That's the beauty. Come down and push. Come down and push. Come down and push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Doesn't matter where you end up. It's how you try and focusing on the breathing. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. One more time, try to touch the ceiling. 
absolutely straight line, bend your body to the left, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Feel a tremendous stretch. This is an opening of the right side of the body from the fingertips down to the toes. Hips forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your right hip forward, taking your two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, opening up your chest like a flower petal, blooming a smile isn't gonna hurt. Keep your chin up, come down and push. Stretch your arms, come down and push. Weight in the heels, come down. Come down and push, come down, push. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Nice work, take a deep breath. Next is backward bending. So incredibly good for the spine. Counteracting the forward bending of the day with a nice backward bend. Take a deep breath, drop your head back. Look for the floor behind you. Arms back, head near you. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your total spine backward bending from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, not do that. Your total spine backward bending. Keep maximum body weight on the heels. Take a deep breath and push your stomach, your legs, your hips, everything forward towards the mirror. Hips forward, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, more back. Inhale, come up, almost touching the ground, Amanda. Bend the knees and put your hands on the floor in front of you and move your hips right and left and right and left, right and left. Getting the lower spine nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. You gotta move the hips right, left, right, left, right and left. Really shake it out, moving things because movement is life. Your body craves movement. You see cats, dogs, animals doing it all the time and we are not any different. We need movement in the body to keep us nice, strong, healthy, happy, all these good things. So right to left, and right to left, and right to left. All right, everybody together, grab the heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Your little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Do not lose this grip. Hold on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the foot. Touch your stomach on the thighs chest on the knees, your face on the legs below the knees. So from the side, your body looks like a sandwich. There's no gap anywhere. Pull on your heels, push your knees back and lock your knees. You're creating a tremendous stretch all over underneath the legs, bones to skin, coccyx to the toes. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face to the legs and lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, slowly come up, arms and head together all the way up, and arms down by your side, breathing normal in and out by the nose. Half moon pose, like I said earlier, excellent for the spine, so in the half moon pose, try not to sway back, not to hunch forward, keeping everything nice and stuck when you lean to the side to side. So second set, it's all about awareness, all about lifting, all about feeling your body. Second set, toes, heels together, arms over the head, interlock your fingers, release the next fingers, thumbs crossed, hips forward, upper body back. Now try to really hold everything in, stretch everything up towards the ceiling, and absolutely straight line, bend your body to the right, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Yes, Amanda has more depth, but Hannah is doing great too. Mama T doing great. You're opening up the left side from the fingertips to the toes. Everyone's body is meant to be different. No two bodies will ever be the same. Hips forward, upper body back, weight in the heels, left hip forward, right shoulder forward, keep your palms together, come down and push, breathe. Come down and push, come down and push, come down and push. Inhale, breathe in, come up, stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, stretch your arms up, try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, bend your body to the left without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. If it means you've got to not go as low to open the chest, great. This is the flower petal blooming, opening your chest, opening your rib cage. So something opening in the body on the right side from the fingertips to the toes. Hips forward, upper body back, weight in the heels. Right hip forward, left shoulder forward, keep your chin up, come down, push. Weight in the heels, come down, push. Come down, push. Come down, push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Backward bending, second set. Bodies warmed up from the first set. Take a deep breath. Drop your head back. 
Look for the wall behind you. The head can be quite heavy. Let it go. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Really using the arms. Keep them nice and straight. They're like your guide. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your total spine. Backward bending from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Your total spine backward bending. Keep maximum weight in the heels. Take a deep breath. Push your stomach. Push your legs. Push your hips. Everything forward towards the mirror. Hips forward. Arms back. Straighten the arms. Go back. Fall back. Way back. Inhale, come up. Awesome work. Keep the arms with the ears. Bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor. And again, right and left. And right and left. And right and left. Paga Hastasana. Hands to feet pose. So really shaking your down. Preparing us from the, for this backward bend. And as much as possible when you come down, try to keep the tailbone up. So not bending in the spine as much as possible, little bit by little bit. My goodness, things change in the body day by day, breath by breath. Second set, grab the heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Your little baby fingers touch each other side by side. Super important. Stomach on the thighs, seal it. Then chest on the knees. If the stomach comes off of the thighs, bend the knees a little bit more. Keep that working the internal organs, the digestive system. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. You're creating a tremendous stretch now on the back side of the body from the fingertips to the toes. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, create space in the front side, lock your knees. Eyes open, put your face to the legs and lock your knees. That's it, Amanda. One more time. Try to bring the ribs over the knees just for you. That's it. Pull on your heels. Push your knees back. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Touch your face to the legs. Lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale. Slowly come up. Arms and head together. Arms down by your side. So we warmed up the spine, all four directions. Now we're taking awkward pose, which is an amazing strengthening posture for the legs, arms, and your core. Awkward pose. Mama, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind the toes. It looks like a perfect letter H. Keep six inches gap between the toes and the heels. So try not to turn your toes in or your toes out. Heels directly behind the toes. This is giving you the nice alignment in the legs. And arms up parallel to the floor. Five fingers together, your elbows locked. Tricep muscles, nice tight contraction. Exhale, breathe. Suck your stomach in and sit down until your hips touch in the chair. Spine straight to begin with 100% body weight on the heels. Lift your chest up, bend your spine backward bending, suck your stomach in, use it. Compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscle. Keep six inches gap between the toes, heels, knees, and hands. Lift your chest up. Everybody lean back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, come up, good, hold it. Second part, on the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration, focus one point in the mirror. Do not blink your eyes, stretch your spine, chest, head. Everything up towards the ceiling. Imagine I'm pulling you up towards the ceiling and sit down on top of the toes. Spine straight position from start to finish throughout the posture. Feel your hips and head touching the wall behind you. Sit down halfway until your hips touching the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back. Come up higher on the toes. Knees up towards the ceiling. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up. Keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on the toes. Bring your knees together. Suck your stomach in and sit down as slow as possible. All the way down. All the way down. Leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Keep a half inch gap between the hips and the heels, knees together, forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine perfectly straight. So from the side, your body looks like a bus. Squeeze your knees, suck your stomach in. Inhale, breathing, and slowly come up. You've got this focus. 
right foot back and slice and arms down by your side. Tremendous. Like I said earlier, working the legs, the arms, and the core. So not just thinking about arms and legs. Really use. There's so much to use here. So focus on this part of the body. Second set. Right foot steps to the right. Six inches apart. Heels invisible behind the toes. Really ground your feet into the floor. Don't move them. Arms up. Parallel to the floor. Five fingers together. Elbows up. Tricep muscles. Nice, tight, contracted. Now really engage the abdomen. Suck your stomach in. Use the inner thigh. Stomach in and sit down until your hips touching the chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight on the heels. And why not go down lower? Have you ever heard, seen a slanted chair before? Get down nice and low. Lift your chest up, building incredible strength. Keep six inches gap between the toes, heels, knees and hands, no weights, no props. This is all you, lift your chest up, lean back. Fall back, way back. Inhale, come up. Nice work. Second part, on the toes, maximum life. A ballerina. Tremendous concentration, focus one point in the mirror. Do not blink your eyes. Stretch everything up. Make sure you're breathing. It's okay if you waver, you forward up. Robots and sit down on top of the toes. Spine straight position from start to finish throughout the posture. Feel your hips and head touching the wall behind you. Sit down halfway until the hips touching the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back. Come up higher on the toes, challenge it. Build up your ankle strength, higher on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling, hips not below the chair. Inhale, come up, third part. Come up a little bit on the toes. Bring your knees together. Suck your stomach in, really, really use the inner thigh, second set. Squeeze everything in and sit down as slow as possible. You've only got one leg all the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Nice control. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Keep a half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Knees together, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs. Spine perfectly straight. Come up, half inch gap, knees together, and slowly come up. Right foot back to his place. Arms down by your side. Eagle pose, Gavras now. Now working 14 major joints in the body. Opening them up, loosening them up. Toes, heels right together. Identify your right and the left arms. Don't mix them up. And arms over the head. Bring your right arm underneath the left arm. Cross your arms to a slight roll. Make sure again, right under the left. Hands, palms together. So the thumbs facing you. Little fingers towards the other side. Mirror if you've got it. Palms together. If you can't get your palms together yet, interlace the fingers with the gut to pull the elbows down towards the floor, trying to get the fingertips below the nose. Suck your stomach in and sit down until your hips touching the chair nice and low. Upper body leaning back. Mom likes this so much. She's ready. Right leg up and over the left leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like rope. Get the right foot underneath the left calf muscle. All five toes visible on the front here. Sit down lower. Twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back more. Knees to the right. Upper body to the left to get the toes, knees. Elbows, hands, everything in one line in the center. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. Losing the balance, upper body back more. Chair, arms over the head. Identify left and right. Left arm underneath the right arm. Cross your arms each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. The thumbs towards you, little fingers towards the mirror. Interlace the fingers if you need. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Suck your stomach in and sit down until your hips touching the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Left leg up and over, the right leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like rope. Get the left foot underneath the right calf muscle, all five toes. Visible in the front here, sit down more, twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back, more knees to the left. Upper body to the right, to get the toes, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the center. If your foot is coming up, sit down more. If you're losing the bounce, upper body back more. Suck your stomach in. Pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Chair, arms over the head. Immediately second set. Nice work. Duck, right arm underneath the left arm. Cross your arms, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. 
Always pull the elbows down. You're getting into the shoulder blades with scapula by pulling your elbows down. It should feel good, a little tight, but good. Stomach in and sit down until your hips touching the chair. Nice and low, second set, working the hips, upper body leaning back, stay low, right leg up and over. The higher you lift the leg, the easier it is to cross and twist, then you've got more leg to slide around the other leg. Slide your foot down, eliminate the gap between the ankle and the calf muscle again, knees to the right, upper body to the left. If you don't have a mirror, you've got to feel everything coming in. Slide the foot down, opening up 14 major joints in the body, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the elbows, Elbows, there is, but you've got to squeeze. Sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. Stomach in. Upper body back at the head. Change arms over the head. Last one. Left arm underneath the right. Press your arms, twist the girls. Hands palms together in front of your face. Pull the elbow down. Set your stomach in and sit down nice and low. Get right into it without delay, hesitation. Upper body leaning back. Left leg up and over the right leg as high as possible. Cross. Twist the legs and slide your foot down the calf muscle. Really wringing out the joints. Slide your foot down more, sit down more. Knees to the left, upper body to the right to get the toes, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. Losing the bounce, upper body back more. Excellent for the reproductive area organs. Sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Change, arms over the head, and arms down by your side. And now, party time. You can help yourself to a quick sip of water, or you can do a dance like Adam was doing there. I always wondered why it was called party time. I don't think it's much of a party because all of a sudden it's back to business. The party is inside your body because you're working the spine, you're taking care of your joints, you're strengthening your body. So the body is loving it, the body is having a good party. And now back to the standing series. This is where it takes tremendous concentration. Physical ability one thing, but we're going to be standing on one leg for the next three postures. You've got to really focus. Concentrate, mind over the matter. Take control of your matter. Standing hand to knee pose. Ready? Shift your weight to the left leg. Interlock your ten fingers. Round down. Grab the right foot in front of you with your ten finger interlock. Like mama, if you need a chair, you grab a chair. You do your best. Focus on the left knee in the front of you. Make sure your left leg is locked, solid, concrete unbroken, unbending, you don't have the knee. This is mind over the matter. Focus one point on the left knee. Inhale, breathing right leg, lift up, stretch it forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, your standing leg locked. Take a deep breath, kick your right leg heel forward towards the mirror, turn the toes in so from the side your leg, it should look like an upside down L. Kick your heel out, Turn your toes in. Still, you can bounce here comfortably. Slowly bend your elbows down. Eventually, elbows below the calf muscle. Keep kicking. You've got this standing leg lock. Kick and kick. Change. Inhale. Come out. Nice work. Feet together. Take a moment. Take a breath. Shift your weight to the right leg. Interlock your ten fingers. Round down. Grab the left foot in front of you. With your right finger interlock, right. grab the foot. So you have more time to concentrate on the right knee in the front of your. Make sure your right leg is locked. That means lifted. Thigh muscle contracted. Protecting the kneecap with your muscle. Your right leg locked, solid, concrete, unbroken, unbending. No knees up your stomach and more. Inhale, left leg lift up, stretch forward. Towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the foot. No higher, no lower, your standing leg lock. Take a deep breath and kick. Your left leg heel forward towards the mirror. Turn the toes in. From the side, your leg should look like an upside down L. Your standing leg lock. Concentrate, kick the heel out. Turn the toes in. Still, you can bounce. Bend your elbows down. Eventually, elbows below the calf muscle. Kick more. Keep kicking. Change. Inhale, come up. Nice effort. Put your hands on your hips. Do one second supported backward bend. Beauty of this class is the postures, they never change. You do. It might take you 
five years. It might take you 10 years. It might take you five months only to really get an understanding of this posture. It doesn't matter. As long as you think it, one day you will get there. If you fall out 100 times, congratulations. You've tried it more than somebody else. So second set, you've got to shift your weight to the left leg. Interlock your 10 fingers, round down. Without debate, drama, grab the foot. You want to eliminate the drama from this room. So you have more time to focus on how incredibly strong and powerful you are. Your left leg lock, solid, concrete, focus forward. Inhale, breathing right leg, lift up, stretch forward towards the mirror. Until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Your standing leg lock, kick your heel out, turn your toes in, still you can bounce here, bend your elbows down. If you've fallen down, no problem, grab the foot again, try again. Kick the heel out, turn the toes in, still you can bounce here. Take your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, round in, touch your exactly forehead to the knee with your standing leg. Change. Slowly come up, same way you went in, feet together, side by side. If that wasn't your posture, no worries, no problem. These two are professionals and they're under pressure today. So just do your best again. Try your best, have a smile, do what you can. Shift your weight to the right leg, interlock your 10 fingers, round out. Grab the left foot in front of you, 10 finger interlocker. Bonus thing if you're doing it at home, nobody can see how many times you fall out. Your right leg lock, solid, concrete, unbroken, unbending, no you've got this. Inhale, left leg, lift up, stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, you're standing leg lock. The pressure was on, that was my fault. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in from the side. Your leg looks like an upside down L like Linda. Still, you can bounce here, bend your elbows down. Eventually, elbows below the calf muscle. Keep kicking, see that four times getting back in. This is how you develop your mental strength and your determination. Mind over the matter, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, round in, kick, put your forehead to the knee, see Amanda, you can lift her heel up a little bit more and kick, change, inhale, come up, awesome work, slowly come up, same way you went in. Tremendous, put your hands on your hips, do a one second supported backward bend. Right, so the hard stuff hasn't ended yet. We're going to keep the heart rate rising. Why? Because we want a strong heart. So standing go, pulling pose is going to keep your heart rate up. If you've never done this before, listen to the words carefully. Right arm up, palm facing up, your elbow touching your body. Turn your hand out to the right, keep the palm facing up like you got a lot of money in your hand, you don't want to lose your money. And grab the right foot, hold from the inside. Five fingers together, nice tight grip. Do not lose this grip. Left arm loose up. Bring your knees together to start. Stretch your left arm up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. It's a long way to go, so you got to stretch up more. Knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward. Go and touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Bring your body down until the abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. See your foot coming up over the top of your head in the front here. Two feet in one line. Bring your body down more. Stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Touch your shoulder to the chin. Your shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. Kicking, stretching equal. Simultaneous 50-50. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Kick back more. Kick harder. Keep kicking. Kick up, keep kicking, kick up, one more time, change, inhale, breathing, come up, feet together, arms down by your side, nice work, mama, good concentration, it's all about how you track, left arm up, palm facing up, elbow touching the body, turn your hand out to the left, grab the left foot, pull from the inside, five fingers together, nice tight grip, do not lose this grip, you got to hold on tight, right arm lifts up, bring your knees together to start, focus one point, Stretch your right arm up, knees together. Inhale, breathing, and charge. Your body forward, go and touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Bring your body down until the abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. See your foot coming up over the top of the head in the front mirror, two feet in one line from the side.
side of the body down floor. Stretch forward more. Go and then turn your touch your shoulder to the chin, your shoulder blades, scapula coming out of the body, kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50 body down floor. Stretch forward more. Go and then turn your kick back more. Kick harder, keep kicking. Body down, stretch forward, kick up, keep kicking, kick up. One more time. Change. Inhale, bring the camera. Feet together, arms down by your side. Breathing normal. This posture only about 45 seconds to a minute. Then the second set is less than that. As much as possible, use your concentration to stay in it. How long can we sit scrolling on the phone? 40 minutes, one hour goes by. We're talking about mere seconds, not even a minute. Second set. Right arm up, palm facing up. Turn your hand over to the right. Grab the right foot, open the inside, five fingers together, nice and bigger, do not lose this grip. Left arm lifts up, bring your knees together to start. In the second set, focus on what's on the inside, using your inner thighs. Get strong, get confident, you've got this, stretch up and charge your body forward. Go and touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Bring your body down until the abdomen chest parallel to the floor. Excellent form. Stretch your arm forward. Doesn't matter how high your leg is kicking up. It's form over the depth always. Stretch forward and kick. Stretch forward and kick. Kicking, stretching, equals simultaneous 50 50. Body down more. Getting the heart rate up. Stretch forward, kick more. Kick harder, keep kicking. Turn it on, kick up. One more time. Change. Inhale, come up. Beautiful. Last one, left arm up, palm facing up, elbow touching the mat. Turn your hand up to the left and grab the left foot, pull from the inside, five fingers together, nice tight work. Right arm lifts up, bring your knees together to start. It's the last one. In your mind, make it the best one. How? Doesn't matter, just think it. All good things start with a thought. Stretch up and charge your body forward. Go and touch the mirror simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Bring your body down into the abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Use the inner thighs kick. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. See your foot coming up over the top of the head. Inhale from here, stretch forward. Keep your shoulder to the chin, stretch forward. Go and touch the mirror, kick back more. Kick harder, continuously keep kicking. Do not stop kicking. So good to open the chest. The heart and bring the body down more. Stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror, keep kicking. Turn it on, keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. Kick up one more time. Change, inhale, come up. Nice, Amanda, left arm down. Feet together, arms down by your side. Sometimes it just takes a little extra encouragement. Take one step to the back of the towel for balancing stick pose. We know how it is. Harder to practice at home, that's why we're here for you. Hopefully these words will inspire you to get off of the couch and onto the mat. Standing, balancing stick pose. 10 seconds, only this posture, but so good for the heart. Your toes, heels together, arms over the head. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed, keep a nice tight grip. Hips forward, upper body back. Keep your chin up, arms with the ears throughout the posture. Stretch up. Inhale, right leg, step forward, mid step, lock your knees and come down. Arms and head together. Come down until your whole body looks like a T. As in Teresa, stretch your arms forward, go and touch the mirror, lock your knee, point the toes, body down and leg up. Every muscle contracted, lock your knee, point the toes, stretch forward, point the toes, stretch, stretch, change. Inhale, come up. Inhale, breathe in, left leg, step forward, big step, lock your knees, come down, arms and head together, come down until your whole body looks like a T. Your body down and leg up, chest down, leg up, every muscle contracted, imagine I'm pulling you in opposite directions like a natural human tug of war, stretching your body in opposite directions, stretch your arms forward, point the toes, stretch, stretch, change, inhale, come up, and arms down by your side, breathing normal, I have a clock in front of me, but I watch, was watching the bodies so hopefully that was about 10 seconds long but so good for the heart you don't have to do one hour of jumping jacks to get the heart rate up 10 seconds balancing stick working every muscle in the body second set you got this toes heels together arms over the head interlock the fingers release the index fingers thumbs cross keep a nice tiger already everything tight contracted use it or you lose it stretch up Inhale, right leg, step forward, big step, lock your knees, come down. Immediately, body down, you want your heart down. Parallel to the floor, body down and leg up, chest down and leg up. Every muscle contracted, engage 
them all. It's so beneficial. Lock your knee. What are you going to do? Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. Stretch your arms. Point the toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Change. Inhale. Come up. Last one. Inhale. Breathing left leg. Step forward. Big step. Lock your knees. Come down. Body down and leg up. Ten seconds. You've got this. Arms and head together, every muscle contracted. Lock your knee, point the toes again, and imagine I'm pulling you in opposite directions like a natural human type of force, stretching your body. Stretch, lock your knees, point the toes, stretch more, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change your knee, come up, and arms down by your side. One legged balancing postures over, calming things down. Separate leg head to knee stretching pose. So good, this posture, especially when we're sitting lots in chairs. In par, so we're going to open up the back side of the body. Take one step to the left side of your mat. Toes, heels right together. Arms over the head. Right leg steps to the right. Three, four feet distance. At the same time, your arms down parallel to the floor. Your two heels in one line and your feet slightly pigeon toed. That means toes in, heels out. Exhale, wiggle. Slag your stomach in and go back. Chin forward. Looking forward. At your knees, lock. Nice control. Grab the heels from the outside. Five fingers together, the thumbs with the index fingers, and pull on your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. First, your legs stretching, back of the legs stretching, then your hips stretching, then your lower spine stretching. Eventually, the whole back side of the body stretching. Coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the floor, and pull on your heels. Push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward. So more body weight on the toes, lock your knees. Eyes open. Think forehead to the knee. Touch forehead to the knee. Last chest, forehead to the floor. Excuse me, roll forward. Touch your forehead to the floor. Chin, slowly come up. Nice and slow with control. Right foot back to its place and arms down by your side. Breathing normal. We had a lovely teacher here this weekend from out of uh, uh, coming in here and was talking about how in Edmonton we have a little bit more hip issues. So when you're coming down seconds and if it's really hard to do, as much as possible, keep your spine straight. Rather than turning in, I'm gonna get Adam to demonstrate how to hold the legs differently if you cannot grab the heels yet. That's okay. You do this with time, you come to the heat and the body, it will open up for you. So second set, and Amanda, Mama, everybody, toes, heels together, arms over the head, right leg steps to the right, big step, four feet minimum, at the same time, arms down parallel to the foot. Keep your tailbone up, exhale, breathing, and go down. Try not to round, keep your chest forward, heart forward, that's it, looking forward, and grab the heels from the outside. Like I said, if you can't grab the heels yet, this took a little bit of time, then you can put your hands Grab the feet from the outside. You can also put your hands on the floor. And if you can't yet, you put your hands on your shins. So you're still opening up the whole back side of the body. First, your legs stretching. Then your hips stretching. Then your lower spine stretching. Eventually, your whole body stretching. Coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the floor. And people tell us all the time, I don't know if I'm ready for this class. And I always say, if mama can do it, you can do it. Look at her now. Legs perfectly straight. This took a little bit of practice. It takes patience and it takes opening. And you've got it. Pull on your heels. Roll forward. Think. Forehead to the floor. Change. Slowly come up. Awesome one. Small right foot back and arms down by your side. Triangle pose with legs, master posture of the series. It's a perfect merge between the heart and the lungs. We need healthy lungs, we need a happy heart, and this posture is going to bring it back together. So if it's hard work, good. This is working your organs, taking care of you from the inside out. You're worth it. Give yourself the time, give yourself the patience. Toes, heels together, triangle pose. Arms over the head. Right leg steps to the right, big step, four feet minimum. Immediately your arms down parallel to the foot. Push your hips forward towards the mirror. Upper body leaning back. Turn the right foot out, until it's parallel to the mirror. Two heels in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend the right knee, and sit down. Bounce a few times until the right side bicep is parallel to the foot. That means your right thigh parallel to the floor, should look like an L. Hips forward, arms back, inhale, breathing, and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the right knee, your fingertips between the big toes, second toe, no pressure on the floor with the fingertips. Then look up and stretch 
up. Touch your chin to the shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front here. Take a deep breath. Stretch your left arm up. Your both arms, shoulders stretching up and down in opposite directions. Push your left knee forward. At the same time, push your right knee back. Upper body turn. Twist back wing like the spine twisting posture. Your left leg locked. Your left foot flat on the foot. Change. Inhale, come up. Turn the right foot in. Your left foot turns up. Inhale, breathing, bend the left knee and sit down. Bounce a few times into the left thigh. Bicep just parallel to the floor. In the mirror, your leg head again should look like an upside down L. Like Linda, building strength, building stability. Hips forward, arms back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, move your arms. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Notice the a body didn't move, it was just the arms. Fingertips between the big toe, second toe. Then look up and stretch up. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face is visible in the mirror. Stretch your right arm up. Your both arm, shoulders stretching up and down in opposite directions. Push your right hip forward. At the same time, push your left knee back. Upper body turn, twist backward like the spine twisting posture. Your right leg lock, your right foot flat on the floor. Change, inhale, come up. Right foot backwards, place arms over the head and arm down by your side, breathing normal. I'm infinite for getting my right and left strong. So really as much as possible today, I think so far, so good. But if you're ever in doubt, watch the video. So that's how we got these excellent demonstrations. So it's heels together, second set, arms over the head. Right leg steps to the right. Big step, arms down, hips forward, opening up your hips, pelvis, arms back, opening your chest and rib cage. Turn the right foot up, until it's parallel to the mirror, two heels in one line. Inhale, bounce a couple of times. Bend the right knee and bounce. In the second set, your hips, they're already more warmed up, so get nice and low, hold it, stay there. Hips forward, again, arms back. Inhale, move your arms. Just the arms moving, so the right elbow in front of the right knee. Try as much as possible. Get the fingertips between the big toe, second toe. Again, building strength. Look up and stretch up. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face visible in the front mirror. It's called a triangle because you've got a number of triangles in the body. Keep the left hip down. Upper body turn. Twist backward like the spine. Twisting forward. More stretch up. Stretch up. Both arms, shoulders stretching up and down in opposite directions. Left leg lock, your left foot flat on the floor. Change, inhale, come up, nice work. Right foot in, left foot turns up. Inhale, really bend the left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce into the left thigh, bicep parallel to the floor. Keep your hips down there. Hips forward, arms back, open your chest. Inhale, left elbow in front of the left knee. Fingertips between the big toes, second toe. Then look up and stretch up. Touch your chin to the shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. You want to open up the chest, the rib cage, so it's easier to breathe. Stretch up. Upper body turn. Twist backward. Push your right hip forward. Left knee back. Keep stretching up. Like you're trying to do this thing. Stretch up more. Your right leg lock. Your right foot flat on the floor. Change. Inhale. Come up. Right foot backwards place. Arms over the head. Arms down by your side. Yes, you should be sweating. Mount Everest, that posture of the class. So really building up the heart rate. We're slowing things down. Separate leg. Head to knee posture. Incredible medical benefits this one. Keep your toes, heels right together. Arms over the head. Palms together. Thumbs crossed. Right leg steps to the right, three feet distance. Turn to the right, 180 degrees. Turn your hips, one, two, three, four, five times. Your two hips in one line, so not back. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Backside foot, 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing again, chin to your chest, and look down. Rotate your stomach as you go down. Round in as much as possible. Touch your exactly forehead to the knee. If you need, bend the knee up. But you've got to touch your forehead on the knee. Why? Because it's called forehead to knee posture. Bend the knee up if you need, but touch your forehead to the knee. Stretch your hands beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands against the floor. Your throat choked. Eyes open, breathing normal. Bring maximum body weight to the front leg. So your right side hip sticks up toward the ceiling. Lock your knees a couple of times. Change, slowly come up, arms and head together, all the way up, as much control as you can. Turn to the left, 185 degrees. 
Turn your legs one, two, three, four, five times. Hi, everybody. To the super line, to the super line. I'm not making eye contact. Exhale, breathing, and go again. If you're changing your chest. Neither is mom to tell you the truth. Touch your forehead to the knee. So focused, so determined. This is good. Touch your forehead on the knee. Nothing else should distract you in class. Touch your forehead on the knee. If you need to get bend the knee out, but you've got to touch your forehead on the knee. Stretch your hands and feet on your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands and knees to the floor. Curl to choke. Eyes open. Breathing, come over, maximum body weight to the front leg. So your left side hip sticks up toward the ceiling. Look at mama's effort. This is so good. This is why she comes rounding in, sticking your stomach, and try to touch your forehead to the knee. Change. Slowly come up. Arms and hip together all the way up. That's it. Using the chair, turn to the front of the room. Right foot back to its place, and arms down by your side. Breathing normal. Second set, every first set, always diagnostic. Second set, more therapeutic, so you could really turn it on. Toes, heels together, arms over the head, palms together, thumbs crossed. Right leg starts to the right, three feet distant. Turn to the right, again, one, two, three, four, five times, two hips, two heels in line. Guess what, you got to use the inner thigh muscles. Suck your stomach and there's so much there to engage. Exhale, breathing, and go down. So your throat is choked. Stimulating thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, touch your forehead to the knee. If you need to bend the knee up, touch, you've got to touch your forehead on the knee and keep the chin to the chest compression. Now more than ever, you want to really build up the immune system. You've got to do something you're not comfortable doing. Challenge your body, challenge your mind. Try to inch the forehead higher up on the thigh. Bring maximum body weight to the front leg. Suck your stomach in more, working the internal organ. Lock your knees a couple of times at the end. Change, inhale, come up. Arms and head together, come slowly up with control. Turn to the left, 185 degrees. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips, two heels in one line. Again, use the inner thigh, slip your stomach in, and go down. Take your chin to your chest. Look at your belly button as you go down. Yes, it should be uncomfortable. The building strength, challenging, changing, shifting the body. So you can touch your forehead to the knee. If you need, you bend the knee up, no problem. Every day, little bit by little bit, you need, we want mobility in your life. Round in more, suck your stomach in more, breathing normal. As much as possible, breathing normal, in and out by the nose. Bring maximum body weight to the front leg, so your left side hip sticks up towards the ceiling, two hips in one line, lock your knees a couple of times, change, inhale, slowly come up, turn to the front of the room, right foot back to its place, arms down by your side. Take one step up to the middle of the tongue where you start leaps for tree and toe stand. Two excellent hip opening postures, opening up the front side hips. Pelvis also quite tight from all of this sitting, so an opportunity to open that up. Your feet together side by side, toes heels together. Like a tree, we got to get grounded, so make sure your feet are planted to the floor. Toes heels together, right leg lifts up onto the middle of the thigh or wherever you feel comfortable. Grab the right foot, bring it up, excuse me, as high as possible, sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Push your hips forward, gently push the right knee back, opening up the hips, the pelvis, stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. Make sure two hips in one line, two shoulders in one. If one shoulder up, bring it down. So your two shoulders down, away from the ears. Slowly, right hand up to the center of your chest. If you could balance there with left hand, Palms together on the spot. Your left leg long. That's the root. That is your trunk. Keep your left foot flat on the floor. Left hand up, excuse me. Stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. Change. Right leg down. Left leg. Lift up all the way up as high as possible. And sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Be careful with the left knee. You're pushing the hips forward and gently pushing the left knee back. Knee only goes back and forth one way. The hip has a tremendous amount of rotation in it. So this is the hip opening posture. Push your hips forward. Gently push the left knee back. Two hips in one line. Two shoulders are in one line. Slowly, right. left hand up to the center of your chest. 
Right hand up, palms together, namaskar. Like I said, right to left, challenging for me. Stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. Stomach and focus one point. Right leg locked, thigh contracted, breathing normal. Change. Left leg down. Toe step. Feet together, side by side. Focus one point on the floor if we're at the infinity. It helps tremendously with the balance if you've got one point of focus. Right leg lifts up onto the middle of the thigh or wherever you feel comfortable. Hands palms together in front of your chest if you need to hold the foot, but slowly bend your body down without bending the knee. Keep your right leg straight so you put your hands on the foot without bending the knee, hands on the floor. If your hands are on the floor, then you bend the knee, bring your hips down, sit down on your heels. If you're not there, you hold the tree posture again, still opening up the hips. Every day, little bit by little bit, you gain opening and strength and confidence more than anything else. Two knees in one line, focus one point slowly, left hand up to the center of your chest. If you could bounce right hand up, palms together, stretch your spine up towards the same focus one point, balance there. Change. Slowly come up the same way you went down or any which way, just to get back up. Right leg down. Nice. Last one. Left leg lifts up all the way up onto the middle of the thigh or wherever you feel comfortable. And keep the focus on the floor. If your eyes are scattering, so will the body. Focus one point. Hands palms together and slowly bend your body down. Keep the focus one point on the floor. Feel what's happening in the body as you go down. Put your hands on the floor. If your hands are on the floor, then bend the knee. Bring your hips down and sit down on your heel. Bring your hands to both sides of you on the floor and stretch your spine up. In order to balance, you've got to keep the spine straight. This is so good to improve the posture. Keeping your spine straight. Focus one point, left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together, namaskar, stretch up. Try coming up a little bit, fingertip by fingertip, stretch up, balance here. Shake, nice work. Slowly come up the same way you went down. Standing series over. Turn around, relax on your back, savasana. Take a sip of water if you need and lie down on your back. Savasana, two minutes, silent. Mid body pose. The whole standing series is meant to get the body grounded, physically, mentally, bringing you here into yourself, into your, whether it's your room, into the yoga studio, we're really nothing else, not your neighbors, the teacher, nothing matters. It's an opportunity to focus on getting grounded from the bottom up. Breathing through anything that comes your way. Such a beautiful opportunity to take care of yourself. In Savasana, heels together, feet follow. Arms by your side, palms facing up. Keep your eyes open. Breathing normal. Eyes open so the body knows. It's not time for sleeping yet. The body just got an awesome workout. The mind had a chance to really be still. And we're still going to get some excellent postures coming up, coming up with the spine strengthening. This is where the real yoga happens on the floor. Try to make sure her star student Mama T is in the picture.
glass is not over. Wind or a moving foot, right leg lifts up, grab the right leg a couple of inches below the knee. Nice and tight, 10 finger interlocker. I always say we could spend one hour just talking about grips, not today. Pull the right knee down, out towards the right shoulder, avoiding the ribcage. But you can see how flat the fingers are, elbows in, shoulders down. Mom has got an excellent grip. Bring the elbows in, shoulder down, your left leg straight, left calf muscle on the floor. If your calf muscle is not touching the floor, flex the left foot, then head bent into your chest. Bring your elbows in, shoulders down, and pull. Pull the right knee down towards the right shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Keep pulling, pull more, pull hard. Chin, right leg down, left leg lifts up. Grab the left leg a couple of inches below the knee. Nice and tight. Ten finger interlock grip. Pull the left knee down, out towards the left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, neck flat on the floor. Bring your elbows in, shoulders down. Right leg straight, right calf muscle on the floor. If your calf muscle is not touching the floor, flex the right foot. Tuck your chin in. Hold more. Left knee towards the left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Keep pulling. Pull more. Pull hard. Change left leg down. Both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other a couple of inches below the knees. Nice tight grip. Compact. Put your feet together side by side. Relax position. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Neck flat on the floor. Shoulders down. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Eventually, in the future, when you've improved your skeletal systems, your bone joints and up your entire spine will be flat on the floor. Change. Legs down, arms down. 20 seconds of asana between every posture. Have a knee here, just a little bit closer to now. Okay. Just a little bit adjustment.
the realness is like the master posture of the spine strengthening. Best thing you could do to help take care of the lower spine. Put your hands right underneath the shoulders, very close to your chest, your five fingers together. Fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with the pelvis. Blue your hands down, do not move your hands throughout the posture. Toes and heels together, hip and leg muscles strong, solid, concrete. You got one tail like a cobra, do not open it. Elbows in, shoulders down. Look up towards the ceiling and lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. Go up halfway into only the belly button is on the floor. The rest of the upper body is in there. Look up at the ceiling where your eyes go, body goes. Look up, that's it on my chest. Up. Everybody go up. Elbows in, shoulders down. Look up at the ceiling and lift the chest up. Lift up, go up, more up, come up. Hold it, breathe. Slowly lower down. Look to the right. Left ear on the towel, arms by your side, palms facing up, breathing normal. Why does Nala come all the time? Because she knows the spine strengthening is so good for her. Healthy. As we get older, our spine starts to compress. That's going to affect our internal organs. What do we need to do? Give our spine a chance to go do the opposite of what we do most of the day. Back bend. Spine strengthening. Even arms over the head, so incredibly important. Second set, get your arms underneath, hands underneath the shoulders, very close to your chest. Your five fingers together, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with the belt, let's move them down. Toes and heels together, hip and leg muscles strong, solid, concrete. Really legs together, elbows in, shoulders down. Look up toward the ceiling and lift your upper body up. Everybody go up, lift your chest up, elbows in, stretch your arms down. So your elbows down until your arms look like an L. This is key. Your arms should look like an L, so you're really working the lower part of the spine. If you don't have the spine strength a little bit, use the hands to push your spine itself up, chest up, chest up, chest up, lift up, go up, hold it, freeze, breathe. Slowly lower down. Awesome work. Look to the left, right here on the towel, and relax. Completely relax. Next one. Ooh, locust pose. What a good one. Working the upper part of the spine. Get your arms underneath the body, hands, palms facing the floor. Elbows underneath the stomach, invisible. So your palms facing the floor, not towards you, away from you. Little fingers touching each other side by side or shimmy as much as possible to get the fingers together. Chin on the floor, your left leg relaxed. What excellent students I have. Your right leg locks, solid concrete. Inhale, breathing right leg lifts off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Everybody go up, come up, lock your knees, point the toes, lift up, lift up, go up, more up, come up. Slowly lower down with the same control. Left leg locks, solid. Inhale, breathing left leg lifts off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Everybody go up, come up. Lock your knees, point the toes, leg up, lift up, go up, more up, come up, slowly lower down. Tuck your chin in, so the mouth is on the floor, mouth down on the floor. Readjust your hands, palms underneath the body, spread your fingers wide. Take a deep breath and both legs lift off the floor. What? Yes, both legs off the floor. Everybody go up, come up. Your feet together side by side. Struggle harder, do not give up. Legs up, legs up, think it. Legs up, legs up, lift up, go up, more up, come up. Take a deep breath, come up, one more time. Slowly lower down, look to the right. Left ear on the towel, arms down by your side, breathing normal. If any of this is foreign to you, great. That's how you might have felt when you started walking. What is this weird thing I'm supposed to be doing? I like crawling. And I like my mom taking me everywhere. But what you did is you tried and tried until you were able to take one step forward, then another step forward. Probably took more than one attempt. Same thing here. You've got to build the mind-body connection to lift the legs off the floor. Second step, get your arms underneath the body, hands, palms facing the floor, your elbows underneath the stomach, invisible. Spread your fingers really wide, 
Grab the floor with the fingers. Chin on the floor. Your left leg relaxed, right leg locked. Solid concrete. Inhale, breathing right leg lifts off the floor. Everybody go up. So much strength in the leg. Lift the right leg up. Point the toes, lock the knee. Lift up, lift up. Go up, more up, come up. Slow, lower down. Left leg lock solid. Inhale, breathing left leg lifts off the floor. Everybody go up, come up. Think you're gonna touch the back wall. Think you're gonna touch the ceiling. Lift the leg up, go up. That's it, mama. Leg up, lift up, go up, more up. Slowly lower down. Take your chin in. Mouth on the floor, bring, adjust your hands, palms underneath the body. Spread your fingers wide, grab the floor. Keep your mouth down. Take a deep breath and both legs lift off the floor. Everybody go up, come up. Lock your knees, turn the floor. Lift the leg up more, slice up. Lift up, go up, more up, come up. Take a deep breath, come up one more time. Slowly lower down. Look to the left, right here on the towel, arms down by your side, relax. Whenever you hear our voices rising, that's encouragement. Helping you get there. We're all in the same boat. Sometimes we just want to come out. Sometimes we think the struggle isn't worth it. But the struggle is always worth it to take care of yourself. No matter where you are, what you are, taking care of yourself is the most important thing we need to do. The locust pose this. Fly, arms up to the side, like airplane wings, palms facing down, five fingers together, chin on the floor. Toes and heels together, hip and leg muscles strong, solid. Keep your legs locked, legs together. If you've got one leg, do not open it. Look up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. Like a 747 digging up, arms up, arms back. Fingertips, same level as the head, only the hip bones on the floor, the rest of the body is in there. Look up at the ceiling, look up, chest up, lift up, go up, more up, come up, exhale, come up one more time. Slowly lower down. Look to the right, left ear on the towel, arms down by your side, relax. That exhale, one more time coming at the end. Ooh, that's when you want to give up. That's when you take one more exhale and you rise above the clouds. All about the breath. Second set, arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms facing down, five fingers together, chin on the floor, toes and heels together, hip and leg muscles strong, solid. You're working the middle part of the spine so everything comes off the floor. Look up, take a deep breath, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. Everybody go up, arms up, arms back, fingertips, same level as the head, only the hip bones on the floor, the rest of the body is in there. Look up at this thing where your eyes go, body follows. Look up, look up, look up, look up, chest up, lift up, go up, exhale, come up one more time. Slowly lower down, nice work. Look to the left, right here from the towel, arms down by your side and relax. We work the lower spine, the upper spine, the middle spine. Next posture gets to tie it all together, conveniently called the boat pose. Chin on the floor, grab your feet from the outside, five fingers together. The thumbs with the index fingers, your wrist straight, pointed toes. Really, mama loves this posture so much. Chin on the floor, keep six inches gap between the knees and the toes, working your entire spine. Take a deep breath, look up, and gently kick your legs back and up towards the ceiling. We'll look up and kick up. Continuously keep kicking. Do not stop kicking your wrist straight. Pointed toes. Keep six inches gap between the knees and the toes. Look up at the ceiling and kick more. Look up. Kick more. Keep breathing. Kick more. Keep kicking. Kick more and kick harder. Slowly lower down. Look to the right. Left ear on the towel. Arms down by your side. Breathe in, out by the nose. Stay present on your mat. On your toe, that's how you come and recharge. Focus on something else, someone else, maybe you're sharing your energy, your energy with them. Take this opportunity to focus on you. Second section on the foot. Grab your feet from the outside. 
two inches below the toes, five fingers together like a hook. So only the fingers bend if your wrists perfectly straight. Keep six inches gap between the knees and the toes. It's all about the kick. Take a deep breath and kick your legs back and up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick up. Continuously keep kicking. Do not stop kicking your wrists straight. Point your toes. Keep six inches gap between the knees and the toes. Look up to the ceiling. One day you see the toes. Look up, kick up, kick more. Keep kicking, kick harder. Slowly lower down. Good work. Look to the left. Right here on the towel, arms down by your side, breathing up. You might know our story, Adams and I, we had really broken bodies. Through this, with time, helped heal our bodies in our 40s. I look like I'm 16. Give yourself time. We've got to take care of ourselves. Please push yourself up. Come to the top of the towel for six curve pose. Come to the top of the towel, open up the heels, sit down between the heels, hips touching the heels, heels touching the hips throughout the entire posture. Open up the knees as much as you need to. So if you need to open up the knees more and more and more, maybe demonstrate more and more and more. That's it, put your hands on your feet and go down. Right elbow down, left elbow down. Doesn't matter if the knees are apart or together, but you want to keep the knees on the floor. Head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, shoulders touch the floor, whole upper body relaxed on the floor. If you can't get your head shoulders there, there's always tomorrow and there's a second set. Arms over the head, grab your elbows each other and pull your elbows down towards the floor. Lift your abdomen, chest up towards the ceiling to create a perfect human bridge. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal, eventually knees together, but your knees should never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, carefully come up, slowly come up, like you can see different levels of the posture. Turn around, relax on your back. Doesn't matter who you are, what your limitations are, how old you are. You come here, start from scratch, heal yourself from the inside out. Sit up. Toes, heels together, flex your toes to the nose, arms over the head, your thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around, second set, come to the top of the towel, open up the heels, sit down between the heels, you want to see the heels outside of your hips, open up the knees as much as you need, keep them together if you can, put your hands on your feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside, and go down, right elbow down, Left elbow down, head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, shoulders touch the floor. Whole upper body relaxed on the floor, arms over the head. Grab your elbows each other and pull your elbows down. Lift your abdomen, your chest up towards the skin to create a perfect human bridge. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal. Eventually, knees together, but your knees should never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, carefully come up. Turn around, relax on your back. We've got in this room former lawyers, former dentists, former nurse, and a beautiful mom. We really are here to help take care of you. We're not in it just for the short term, this is for the long term. We really believe in what this class does, the benefits, the healing benefits of this practice. That's why we've dedicated our lives to this, to help others heal as well. We're very much go, 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 rush, rush, rush. Bing, 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 bang, bang, bang. I don't know where that came from. But we've got to look in. This class, you have no choice but to look in. Toes, heels together, arms over the head. Thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, the jerk, double exhale, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit down, middle of the towel for half tortoise pose. This is a re energizing posture, a revitalizing posture. Arms over the head, palms together, thumbs cross. Arms over the head it is so good to do. This is realigning your spine and giving space to your internal organs. So if you want to age gracefully, arms over the head. Keep your arms with the ears and go down. Arms and head together. Go slowly if you can, building that up. Touch your forehead on the floor. Little baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. 
Stretch your arms more forward, your shoulder blades, scapula coming out of the body, chin away from your chest, keep your eyes open, breathing normal, stretch your arms more forward, chin away from your chest, stretch forward, elbows locked, eyes open, breathing normal, stretch out, stretch, change, inhale, arms and head together, arms down, turn around, relax on your back. Love helping so much teaching this class. I think we're a little bit going over time, so we're gonna let it speed it up. Toes, heels together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Nice and now turn around, come to the middle of the towel, second set. Hips touching the heels, heels touching the hips throughout the entire posture. Arms over the head, palms together. As slow as you can, go down. Arms and head together. Chin away from your chest first, if you can, put your forehead to the floor. Bend the little baby fingers touching the floor. So they shouldn't be a posture, it's an active posture. Stretching your arms forward, shoulder blades, scapula coming out of the body. Chin away from your chest, stretch, lengthen. Hips touching the heels if you can. If you need, lift the hips off of the heels so you can touch your forehead to the floor, stimulating pituitary gland. High heel gland, forehead on the floor, stretch, stretch, change. Arms and head together all the way up. Arms down, turn around, relax on your back. Toes, heels together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, come to the top of the towel for camel pose. Deepest, most healing backward bend of the series. Now when your body is ready, never starting the class with something like the deepest backward bend. Now when we're ready, put your hands on your hips, basically your buttocks. Hands on your butt and push your hips forward towards the mirror. Drop your head back. Drop your head back, go back halfway, and stop in the middle. Eyes open, take a deep breath, right hand down, grab the right heel, thumb out in, outside, fingers inside, left hand down, thumb outside, fingers inside. Hold onto the heels, nice tight grip, do not let go of the heels. Can't grab the heels yet, no worries, keep your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath, eyes open, exhale, breathing, push your stomach, legs, hips. Forward towards the mirror again, 360 degree angle. Deep backward bending, keep your eyes open, breathing on chin. Slowly come up, put your hands on your hips, carefully come up, turn around, relax on your back. You feel something after that posture, again, good for you. Congratulations, not doing this, you're doing this. So something different for the body, different doesn't mean bad. Feeling something in your body is not bad. Feeling something is incredible. Imagine a life with no feeling. It's intelligent. It's really difficult. Toes, heels together. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up. Double jerk. Double exhale. Forehead to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Second set. Come to the top of the toes. You can open up the knees to eight inches. Keep six inches between the toes. Put your hands on your hips, fingers facing down, so you're supporting your spine, either your hands on your hips or your feet, but always supporting your spine. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back, go back halfway, stop in the middle, right hand down, grab the right heel, thumb outside, fingers inside, left hand down, grab the left heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Take a deep breath. This is more about letting go than physical strength. Keep your eyes open, breathing on, let go. What you don't need. Opening up your heart, your chest. Yes, this is an incredibly vulnerable posture, but let go. Eyes open, breathing normal, keep breathing. Change. Put your hands on your hips. Carefully come up, turn around, relax. On your back, sit up. Heels together, arms over your head, 
Thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale, for it to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit down, back of the towel for a rabbit pose from the deepest backward bend to the deepest forward bend. So really lengthening your spine like an accordion here. That could only be good. Put the towel over the heel, grab your heels over the top, hold on to the heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Grab the heels, exhale, breathing, hand go down, chin to the chest, round it. Look at your stomach, round it. Take your chin to your chest, touch your forehead on the knees, automatically top of the head, touch the floor, exhale, breathing, and lift your hips up. All the way up as high as possible, roll forward until the arms and elbows are straight. If there's a gap between the knees and the forehead, you can walk the knees up one by one until the knees touching the forehead, your elbows fine, stretching, lengthening, top to bottom. Hold on your heels, lift your hips up, hips up. Up, change slowly, come up, stay where you went down. You want to get as much opening as possible. Turn around, relax on your back. Toes, heels together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, double legs. Hey, go for it to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, second set. Put the towel over the heels, grab your heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Hold onto the heels, nice tiger. Do not let go of the heels. Exhale, breathing again. Chin to your chest, look at your stomach and round it as much as possible. Compressing the front side, lengthening the back side, forehead on the knees, automatically top of the head, touch the floor. Exhale, breathing, lift your hips up. So your total spine stretching top to bottom, pull on your heels, lift your hips up. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal. About 20% in the arms, 10% in the feet, 70% of the weight of the effort in the spine. Lengthening your spine, pull on your heels, lift your hips up more. Change, slowly come up, head up last, turn around, relax on your back. Just like our folks, that's already telling me battery charging low, charge low, we got to charge it up again. Same thing you got to do with your body. We use it, sometimes we abuse it, and we must take care of it in return. At least bring it to some kind of balance. That's what you get every time you come in. Toes, heels together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. You can talk if you want, turn around, sit raise your hand in the room. Like a luxury vehicle. Right leg out, left leg in, your legs, they look like an L 90 degree angle. So not too wide, not too narrow. Stretch your arms up toward the thing, turn to the right, and run the right foot a couple of inches below the toes. Pull on your toes as hard as possible. Again, chin to your chest, look at your stomach, round and touch your forehead to the knee. If you need, you can bend the knee up. Mama, bend the knee up as much as you need so you can touch your forehead to the knee. Bring your elbows down, left elbow down, left shoulder down, bend the knee up more. Yeah, eyes open, breathing normal. Roll into the left, roll in, roll in. Change, inhale, come up, nice work. Left leg out, right leg in. Stretch your arms up towards the sink, keep the left leg bent. Mama, turn to the left and grab the left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Pull on your toes, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your forehead to the knee. If you need to bend the knee up, but you've got to touch your forehead on the knee, this forward compression is so good. Round in, working the pancreas, extension into the kidney. Round in more, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll in, change, inhale, come up, feet forward, lie down on your back, and inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale, grab the big toes with your middle and next fingers, and walk your hips back right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left, to get both knees locked, your feet together, side by side, feet flat position, stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, lift the heels off the floor, then bend your elbows down towards the floor, look forward and stretch. Keep pulling as much and as hard as possible without intermission, without interruption. Your goal one day to touch your forehead to the floor. You want to be inspired. Watch this lovely lady stretching, pulling, lengthening her spine. Change. Inhale. Come up. Turn around. Relax. Spine your back. Feet to the back. Head to the front. Every 
your sit up, energizing strong double exhale. We're right near the end, keep it up. Both heels together, arms over the head, thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Forehead through the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around, so facing the front of the room, right leg up, left leg and your legs, they look like an L 90 degree angle. Mama was so excited, right leg up, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, turn to the right, grab the right foot, that's it. Pull your toes in, work the Achilles tendon, working the ankle, then the hand in, the hand just in, jerk one head to the knee. If you need to bend the knee up, keep pulling your toes in. You don't have to worry about goblins in here, so you might as well give the ankle, the Achilles tendon, a little bit more flexibility. Elbows and stomach in, round in more, forehead to the knee. Change, inhale, come up, left leg out, right leg in, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, turn to the left and grab the left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Pull on the toes. Again, can you your chest round in? Touch your forehead on the knee. If you need to bend the up a touch and hold your forehead to the knee, that's the last one, go for it. Get uncomfortable, round in more. Suck your stomach in more, inch your forehead a little bit higher, up on the thigh, forehead to knee position. Change, inhale, come up. Feet forward, and light them on your back, and sit up, please. Immediately grab the big toes with your middle and index fingers and walk your hips back right to left and right to left and right and left. I've been missing out the practice all day, so I'm going to join with on this one. Lift the heels off the floor, bend the elbows down towards the floor. Look forward and stretch forward. Final stretching. Give your body this beautiful gift. Stretch your head forward, heart forward, look forward. Pull more, touch your forehead to the toes. Change, inhale, come up, turn around, and relax on your back. Might as well say silly things in here so we can laugh at ourselves. Touch the ceiling, forehead to the toes. Whether or not it's possible doesn't matter. It's the effort, it's the heart you give. Toes heels together, arms over the head, Thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Turn around, so facing the left side of the room for a spine twist, wringing out the spine here right at the end. Bend the right leg, the left leg in, and get the right foot over the left knee corner. So your heel, listen carefully, heel and knee touching the same spot on the floor. Sometimes we like to bring the heel the knee guard down, keep it right at the knee. And then right arm, left arm up and over the right knee corner, elbow against the knee. Grab the knee with the hand, knee, hand, heel, all three touching, three spots touching the same spot on the floor. Wrap the thigh behind you if you can, but keep your hand on the floor like a kickstand. What you want is a straight spine, so lift your chest up, then look over the right shoulder, chin over the shoulder, your total spine twisting, coccyx to the neck like a pearl necklace. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, and twist, look over your shoulder, twist, Twist, last chance, twist, change. Bend the right knee in. Get the left foot over the right knee corner. Heel, knee touching the exact same spot on the floor. Two hips touching the floor comfortably to get your spine straight. Right arm up and over the left knee corner. Grab the knee with the hand. So knee, hand, heel, all three things touching the same spot. Stretch your spine up. Grab the thigh if you can or keep pushing against the floor. Look over the left shoulder. Your total spine twisting top to bottom like a pearl necklace. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist. Look over the shoulder, twist. Last chance, twist. Change, turn around, relax in your back. 26 postures done. We started with the breathing exercise to warm up the baby, warm up the body. We end with the breathing exercise to cool down the body. That is the power of a breath. It could really heat you up it could cool you down. When it, whenever you need it, it's there for you. Focus on your breath. Toes, heels together, arms over the head. Thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk. Double exhale, forward to the knees. Elbows to the floor, turn around, sit down. Facing the front of the room for couple bhakti breathing. Skull cleansing, breathing exercise. You exhale everything out. You no longer need. This is a great opportunity. Spine straight, elbows locked. Again, exhale only. Inhale will happen automatically. Only thing moves belly as you exhale, pull your stomach and look forward and start, please. Exhale, 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 exhale.
spine strength, seconds it is faster, seconds it's stronger, give it everything. This is the X spine, straight shoulders down and start. <laughs> We'll take good care of you. Ever have questions, we're here for you. Thank you again and see you soon. See you soon. Bye.